Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and Jack. You thought you were done with us for the night, didn't you? <laughs> Our list is dwindling down, so that's a good thing. Now, this one actually is a special request, but it looks so yummy that I thought, you know what? Let's do that. And as soon as I said potato chips, Jack was like, I'm there. Because <laughs> Jack is a potato chip freak. Are you not? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have two cups of butter, which is... Um, four sticks and they've been sitting out all day so they're softened and we need a cup of sugar and I know my sister's gonna go you should have used your ki kitchen aid but my whole side of my countertop over there is loaded with candy and all that good stuff so it's just a mess over there and I really don't want to deal with it <laughs> so we're gonna cream this together To it. You would think after it's been out since it's 9 o'clock this morning, it wouldn't do that. Yeah. But we'll work it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> get butter everywhere. I know. <laughs> Got butter in here. <laughs> Oops. You can put this back over there, Jack. I almost missed my big daddy of all the um, sugar that I had out here. Yeah. I really do kind of miss it. I know that sounds weird, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to mix it together this way now. What one lady did... <laughs> Which is probably something I could do. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. And they're clean. I've washed dishes how many times today, Jack? I lost track. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to add three and a quarter cups of sugar. Or flour, I'm sorry. So let's get our cup measurement over here. One, two, three. Isn't that what the owl used to always do? Three. Yeah. Crunch. <laughs> and a quarter. Which is right there. I took my ring off. I don't know why it's messy. <laughs> Well, I might end up doing it by hand. Okay. So then we're going to, um, oh, we got to put in some teaspoon of vanilla extract, too. Yummy. Vanilla makes the world go round and round and round. I'm getting tired. Can you tell? Yeah. I'm acting weird. Not that I don't do that all the time, but anyway. Let's see how this works and see if I have to put my hands in it. I'm kind of bummed that they're actually going together pretty good. I was really hoping to do it with my hands. I told Jack after we got done cooking dinner, don't don't sweep the floor yet because we're gonna make a big mess yet. We've got crackers on the floor. <laughs> Your name is on the floor. Exactly. It's a mess. It's a mess, but that's all right. That's all right. That shows you having fun. All right, Jack. I'm going in. Okay. Let's cream it all together. Oh, you like playing with your food? I do. Actually, no, my mom didn't let us play with our food either, by the way. Just saying. Yeah, you did my parents. But my grandma, um, for those of you that are in Michigan, she used to um, cook pies for a place called Trufant. And it's got a, um, they have a, oh, what do you call that? Like, you can buy all kinds of used stuff there. And then they had an auction. And they had where you could 
sell your animals and um, just all kinds of stuff. And they used to have a little restaurant in there. And my grandma did all the baking for it. And, you know, she used to play with all of her dough. So <laughs> maybe that's where I got it from. But actually, when you cook for a living, um, you do play with your food a lot. All right, Jack, you want to pour the, the potato chips in? So now we're going to do a cup and a half of coarsely chopped potato chips. I know, I never heard of potato chips. But then I heard there's potato chip candy, too. That looked really good. Yeah. So I thought about that, too. Oh, look at all that, Jack. And crunchy, too. And crunchy, too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Sometimes doing it by hand is better than doing it with a mixer. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not missing anything, either. <laughs> All right, guys, give me one second to wash off my hands, though, because it is a mess. You can chat them up a minute, Jack. I, did. <laughs> I got that privilege? <laughs> Whoa. I know, right? I get to say I'll leave the time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, but you got to tell them the truth. You're usually very shy. Yeah, that's true. I'm back. Uh, I'm trying to get out of being shy, but I'm working on it. But doing the videos has helped you, I think, haven't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we're teaching them how to cook and not be shy. <laughs> Great accomplishments, huh? Here, you want to throw all that stuff in the sink, Jack, so it's not in our way. Nope, I'll literally throw it in the sink. I know. He likes it when I say, toss that somewhere. And he goes, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> All right, so now it says we're supposed to do, or wash your hands too, Jack. I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to put this in front of me so you guys can see something that you can't see yet because I don't have it tipped down. I'm getting tired. Sorry, guys. I've been cooking all day. All right. So now, you want to put them in a ball. I wouldn't think too big. So roll them up and then smash them a little bit. You can do that one over there. Okay. Oh, you still can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I always get down to that end down there. And then they wonder why they can't see what I'm doing here. I'll put it here. Not too big. Not smaller than that. That's probably good. So, I think in our boxes and all the stuff that we're going to do for the um, police and everything, I think they're going to get a really good selection of stuff, don't you? Yeah. I got a few things that's coming in our Walmart order tomorrow. So we should be able to get those finished. And I was going to do a lot more, but I think I have plenty of variety. And then Jack, when everybody goes to sleep, well, you'll have to stay up past 9 o'clock one night. So that you can go secretly put everybody's um, boxes on their front porch. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're not going to tell them who it's from. We are just going to put their boxes that we of cookies and candies and stuff on their front porch. And there won't be a name or anything on it. So they won't know who it's from. So we're going to put these together. And it says to cook them for 10 or 20 to 22 minutes. That's an awful long time for a cookie. But it says when it starts getting brown around the edge. Um, and we're probably making them smaller. So I'm going to check them after probably 10 minutes or so. So we'll be back when they're done, and I'll show you what I'm going to do to them. All right, we're back, and it did take almost 25 minutes for the cookies. So my 
kitchen smells amazing right now. Oh yeah, it does. They smell amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I melted a little bit of chocolate and I'm just gonna drizzle some chocolate on the top. Because who doesn't like chocolate? I think we made them bigger than that they said. My drizzles are not very good, are they? No. no it'll work. <laughs> it'll work. So if you guys want to try something, I haven't tasted them yet because they just came out of the oven. But honestly, if they smell as good, if they taste as good as they smell, they're going to be incredible because they smell really, really, really good. My whole house smells like it right now. So Jack and I are hoping to finish everything up tomorrow. Um, we have, I think, four more things on the list. And we plan on picking up AJ Thursday from daycare to um, take him to the fire department and the police department. And then Jack will secretly go drop off all the stuff for our neighbors. So, again, if you've got a secret Santa thing and you've got a video of it, you know, send it to me um, on my email, which is down in the description. Or you can just tell me about it. And I'll let everybody know. And um, if you don't want to let anybody know, try to do something nice for somebody. Not just because it's Christmas and it's Secret Santa, but just because it's good to be good to other people. And I think that's a wonderful thing. So, all right. They never get to see your face, Jack. There's you know. Jack. We had a long time of cooking, didn't we? Yeah. So, we're going to finish up everything tomorrow. These cookies smell amazing. And... Hopefully we'll pass out everything on Thursday. So I want to tell you guys, you guys are amazing, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You guys are amazing. And I want to thank you for... You want to drizzle? You can drizzle for a while. Um, you know, I really appreciate all you new people that's come along. And, you know, um, people that's come from Mama Baird and from, you know, um, Half Acre at Homestead and from Homestead Tussie. I want to let you guys know that you're appreciated too and it doesn't matter where you came from or if you just found my channel or if you got sent over here I appreciate each and every one of you and you truly are making my dream come true and I just want you to know that you guys are very very special to me and I I do appreciate you guys and I feel blessed and honored that you guys sit here and you watch me every day and you make comments so if you can you know keep commenting I love it I love being able to get back with you guys and, and be interacting. It's great. And know that you're appreciated. And that, you know, you mean the world to me. And, you know, you can't build a channel without, without you guys. So thank you for everything. And I just want to say thanks for being here every day. And we'll have another potato recipe tomorrow for dinner. And we're going to cook four more things, and we'll videotape that, too. So if you guys got through all the videos today, kudos to you. <laughs> they were short ones, but this is basically the filler stuff so that we can fill up the trays. So, again, thank you. You guys have a very blessed night. Be a blessing. Bye.